Guys, Boss Tech 7 coming at you with a review of the KO Gadget Light Mod for the iPhone 4 and 4S. So to tell you a little bit about this mod, I do have the Steve Jobs Tribute White for my iPhone 4S. You can see right here we got Steve Jobs face right in that nice silhouette of the Apple logo. It's really, it's stunning. I love this mod. Alright, as you see right here, the way this works is you have a back panel wired inside of the under the EMI shield on a certain connecting point. If you really want to go into details of this, I have done a full installation video of how to put this on and how it works. But um, basically it's just wired inside of there and then we got this back panel. And then we have the clear Apple logo. You see it's clear right there just so the back panel can shine through. It is a little ghetto in wiring this, so be aware of that if you're looking to buy this or have already bought it, bought it and looking to put it in. It is a very ghetto rig mod that is not exactly a professional installation, but it does work and it does look quite stunning when you have it in. A biggest upside of this modification, if you want to just try it out, you can actually reverse the modification, put the old black backplate back on, so Apple can't tell that you've opened the iPhone and voided your warranty, so they won't know and you'll still be able to have that Apple warranty on there and still have this awesome modification, but it is completely reversible. Basically, how this works is it will go off within 15 seconds of the screen shutting off. So you see I got my screen on here, click it off, it's still on, but it will, should go off within 15 seconds. It does turn on every time there's data going in the background, so you will see this randomly turn on, things like that. Also, it does stay on indefinitely while it's charging, so while you're charging, it's gonna constantly be on. Mine actually did shut off last night uh, after it was done charging. I don't know when, because I woke up and it was off while it was still charging. While it's off, it looks like this. It has this really nice elevated look of the panel too, because you have the glass in there that goes before the light. So it gives us this nice shadow effect even when it's not on. That looks really just great. So um, a couple big factors we're going to go over today about this mod is um, how to fix the battery life. Is this really a good quality mod and is it really worth it to get it um, and should you keep it if you have got it already? As far as the battery life goes, it's not a doesn't affect the battery at all. It does really affect the battery guys just to warn you it's not like they said where it has hardly any effect. I've actually found that I've been losing about a sixth to a tenth of my battery life depending on how much I use it compared to when I didn't have this in so it does really affect the battery but I still can get almost a day's worth of battery out of mine how I use it now if I'm using it non-stop I'm gonna get about seven to ten hours but if I'm not using it a lot I'm gonna still get a day out of it but it does compare take your normal battery usage and take about a sixth to a tenth of that off and that's how much battery life you're gonna get with this mod on it. Now the quality of this mod I'm not really pleased with. You can't tell right now, but um, if you see right on here, this panel for one severely attracts fingerprints, even the white one that usually you can't see any fingerprints at all. I don't know, I feel sorry for the people who've gotten the black one of this because I'm still constantly cleaning this. Even though I have the white panel on, you can't see them now. In the actual person, you can definitely see some fingerprints on this panel, whereas the one it came with, you really don't see those at all on the white one, barely on the black one even, but is a fingerprint magnet. And actually, let me turn these lights off so you can get a better picture of this. One of the big drawbacks to this I found is there is actually a pretty significant gap in the top. Now I have very, pr probably minimized mine more than anybody else's. Instead of using that black tape that came with the tape down the light mom, I actually used a lot thinner um, electrical tape that you can see in my install video. But for one, there's a gap right here at the top that really sacrifices in a lot of quality. And also if you can see this, let me turn this lights back on really quick. Um, the panel actually goes in and out. It's not actually connected to the side, which is something that really um, I do not like about this. It, that this back panel is not even the back panel that is coming off, but it's the casing inside of the panel that's already screwed down that is moving around on this phone. So that is one definite big drawback for me. So the quality on this is not too great. One more major downside that I've found actually is that when you're going to take a picture at night in the dark with the flash of the camera, the flash will actually bleed through over the camera and make a completely awful picture compared to um, using the flash in normal just because it has this gap and will actually bleed under the camera, the camera hole and give you that flash through the camera lens so you won't be able to use the flash at night. But there are ways around this if you just block off that 
section right between the flash and the camera with some maybe uh, some black electrical tape or something like that. You can stop that from happening, but um, that is another major downside of this modification for your iPhone. But think again, guys, it was only 40 bucks, so it is a good deal as far as the price, but the quality, you know, it's not going to be solid. Um, it's got that space at the top, one major thing, but it is glass. I know for 100% positive, this is actually a glass panel in here. To really talk about that, this is worth it. Um, point one, nobody else around you is really going to have this look of their iPhone, so it is a 100% unique look that I've already had tons of people asking me about, tons of people commenting on it, and just tons of people think, saying how awesome this really is. So for one, you're really going to have an iPhone that stands out from the crowd if you install this on your phone, and it's really just going to be a one-of-a-kind mod that you don't see too many places at all. So is it really worth it? I'd say yes, if you are willing to deal with the quality issues. So yes, it does affect some battery life. It does make a lot unsafe panel. I actually use a bumper case on mine to uh, minimize this back panel issue um, that I keep it in here to keep it solidly against there because you don't really want any dust or anything getting inside the phone so I do use that but I would say it's worth it as for how awesome this really just is um, and just how unique and well worth the cost in my opinion only 40 bucks for this whereas um, that I forgot the name of that British company that it all, is also coming out with a similar model but theirs is going to be $150 so I got this for 45 bucks including tax and shipping, all the way from Hong Kong, which is like half the price there with shipping. So it definitely is worth it, especially with this one-of-a-kind Steve Jobs tribute in there, too. I am going to keep it on my iPhone 4S, so um, definitely, I mean, just to have this look around here, it's definitely worth keeping on my iPhone 4S. That is basically going to be it, guys. It's worth it if you're willing to deal with those issues. If not, it's really not worth it at all, and I'd recommend either selling it on eBay to someone who will find the worth in it, or... Um, just getting rid of it. So um, basically, guys, this has been Boss Tech 7 with a review on the KO Gadget Light Mod for the iPhone 4S and 4. And um, feel free to check out some of my other awesome videos. I got the unboxing of this bad boy, the installation video, so check out those. Check out some of my other videos. I will be having some iPad 3 coverage and some reviews of the iPhone 4S against the iPad 2 speed test, other comparisons. But until then, I will see y'all later.